if the system is equipped with a piston orifice, we need to check the refrigerant charge with the total superheat method with the blue gauge. We're measuring an R410A pressure of 97 PSI. We convert that to the R410A saturated temperature in the middle of the indoor coil and it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's below freezing, that's a problem. We're also measuring a line temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and so we take 68 minus 30, and we're left with 38 degrees of total superheat. That is a very high superheat. We're gonna determine the target superheat by first measuring the outdoor dry bulb temperature, which in this case, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The indoor wet bulb temperature, which is measured with a psychrometer, that is 66 degrees. And so you can use a digital psychrometer right over by the return grill in order to measure that indoor wet bulb temperature. Using a target superheat chart or a calculation, we find that we have a 13 degree target superheat. So we compare our target superheat of 13 degrees to our actual running total superheat of 38 degrees, and we have 25 degrees too high of an actual superheat. And if you wanna learn more about checking the refrigerant charge and charging, make sure to check out our new second edition, Refrigerant Charging, a service procedures for air conditioning book available over on Amazon and at acservicetech.com.